Hey guys, what's up? Chris here from Beer Geek Nation, and I just want to give you guys a big, big thank you. Episode 499. This one is for you guys. This is for all the subscribers, all the guys who comment, all the guys who like, all the guys on Facebook and Twitter who just continue to just pour support into Beer Geek Nation. I can't believe it. I'm so humbled every single day. This one is for you. Episode 499, Goose Island King Henry Barley Wine, aged in a very special set of barrels. I'm sure you guys have heard of Goose Island Bourbon County Stout Rare, which was brewed once, hopefully only once. Brewed once, aged in 23-year-old Pappy Van Winkle barrels, considered to be the best bourbon in the world currently. Um, very expensive barrels. They brewed that beer, aged it, pulled it out, and then they threw this barley wine into it, aged it, and pulled that one out. Um, this one was bottled in 10, 8, 11, so already coming up on some age. I'm very nervous about reviewing it. Some people call it the best barley wine ever brewed, best barrel-aged barley wine ever brewed, so looking forward to it. And again, this one, guys, it goes out to you. All my viewers, all my subscribers, all the guys on Facebook, Twitter, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much from literally from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate it. I do this for you. So let me get this one into a glass so you guys know what it smells, tastes, and give you the final verdict on the Goose Island King Henry. All right, guys, the aroma on the King Henry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Huge caramel, huge coconut, toffee, vanilla. Oh my God, it smells like one of the sweetest barley wines ever blended with one of the best bourbons ever. It just everything you would expect in your best barley wine and your best bourbon, it smells like that vanilla, caramel, toasted, kind of sugary, burnt notes, just a, a big kind of sweet alcohol. Oh, just a beautiful smelling beer, wow. All right, so the taste on the Goose Island King Henry, cheers. Oh my goodness. Right at the front of the tongue, vanilla, coconut, bourbon, goodness, middle of the mouth, big caramel, toffee sweetness. It's like eating one of those caramel candies, those craft caramel candies. A little bit of a burnt sugar type characteristic, a little bit of a, a hot bitterness in there, almost immediately taken over by almost like a, a vanilla kind of smokiness, lots of oakiness into this one. Um, aftertaste, super, super sweet. Dark fruit, raisin, uh, plum, those winter fruit type of characteristics with a kind of this underlying like vanilla caramel flavor from the barrel that's just enhancing the flavor on this one. Just amazing stuff. Easily one of the best English style barley wines I've ever had and definitely the best barrel aged barley wine I've ever had. Just so complex, yet so drinkable. You don't taste the 13.4%, but you definitely feel it. Just amazing stuff. Wow. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the King Henry from Goose Island, 13.4%. Unfortunately, not available anymore except to trade for or buy online. Guys, I hate to say it, this one's getting an A plus for me. This is easily the best barrel aged English barley wine I've ever had. Um, just so, 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 so well crafted. Every aspect I think of that goes into this beer was thought out. All the malts, all the barrel characteristics, all the hops, everything just works in this beer. 13.4%, you don't taste the alcohol, you just taste the beer. It's extremely complex. Every sip you take as it warms up changes a little bit. It gets better and better and better. You just wanna keep drinking it. You don't want the bottle to end. And for me, that goes a long way. And that says, yes, this is an A-plus beer and it's an awesome beer. Is it worth the hype? It's worth the hype. Is it worth buying for $200 a bottle? I would say absolutely. This is a lifetime, once in a lifetime type of beer, especially the 2011, because who knows if they're ever gonna use those barrels again. I hope they don't, because the bourbon BCBS rare, they say they're never gonna brew it again. So this might be a once in a lifetime beer. So get it if you can. Getting me plus for me, amazing, amazing, amazing. You know, like another great barrel aged Goose Island beer. They're just they know what they're doing with barrels. So with that said, getting an A-plus from me and Murph Folks Life's Too Short. Drink amazing beers, and thank you again so much for your support. Episode 499, guys. Cheers.